that is within one tenth of the of quality. You see there? When it dips there, that's it going into the elbow. <laughs> if you get that there. That's, if it's zero to one is one through. So it's less than one tenth. Right? Now, we'll change the bolts. Just going to put it in here. The ARP bolt is bigger than the diameter here, it's an interference fit. There's right. a standard four bolt, the size for size. So when you push something into something that's weird, it's got to go. Mm -hmm. There's no right home here. as much as a thou. The machining limit on that corn rod is three tenths of a thou. That's actually quite a good one. I've seen them a thou and a half out. And it's tight right across there. Now the running clearance on the bearing is only 1.8 thou. I've just took a thou of that away. So is that because of the diameter of that? Bolt. Bolt. Right. Because what we've done is an interference bolt. We've put it into the hole, pushed it in, and it's now distorted the rod completely. Now, if you take that to a standard rod that's never been resized, the standard rod is out to start with. Then you put that onto it, that compounds it. So that rod has got to be resized now. Is that problem specific to the pintle engine? Purely to pintle. Okay. If you use ARP bolts that screw in, mm -hmm. they're ah. okay, they're no problem. But if they're knock-ins, and if you read the ARP manual carefully, it does tell you you should resize the rods when you're putting them in. the right way to do it, I'll press them home, which is less distressed to the corner. And I'll press them right home, torque up, and then resize. But I never hammer them. What we did there, we capped the rod and the cap down, so theoretically we've got a round hole there, but what we've done is we made that bore smaller, and we'll now assemble it with the new bolts, and then we'll hold it back out to book size. Right.
Tenth of a silver. 